Hello, this is Erica Spark e Tech, and today I'm reviewing the Shine Decor Smart LED Silicone Neon Light Kit. Now this thing looks pretty cool. Right now it's above my head, but I'm going to show a lot more of what you can do than this. Some of the limitations, and yes, I contacted the company to let them know that most of Canada and the US uses drywall. So the mounting mechanism with the little screws for Canada the US is not going to work. Now this would normally go on the wall with one of these clips. And normally I just screw this into the wood. So what option do we have if we don't have wood paneling? One option would be to have double sided sticky foam tape. And of course then we'd stick our strip into it. And there we go. Using these clips right here we can prevent putting holes in the drywall if that's a concern for you. And we also get some of these little caps here. And that's to make it water sealed, watertight. Another thing we get this kit is this foam pad which sticks to the back of the controller. Stick it back here. We would normally stick this to the wall and that's where we would hold the controller. To do this install I'm using drywall trim screws and the reason why is I need a small head that fits through the channel right here as we see. To line up our clips for the install, we simply found the wall studs with a stud finder and put our clips there and gave some slack between. And here are the results. With enough clips, you can do an interesting design along the mountain top, just like this. But in this particular case, we're just gonna wave over the mountain and check how that looks. This is now installed. Let's check out how this turned out. Now let's get out there and show how we do a deck. I'm going to be installing it this way to shine against the wall. Also an interesting way to install these. Now I have it plugged in and we can see it all across here. Look at the back side of the cable, you can see these black dashes going down right there and right here. And there's another one further down but it's hard to see because of all the light. And if I flip to the other side you can see I actually expose this. We can see the four contacts for 12 volts on the one side and our red, green, blue. So that's what it looks like. Normally covered up here. And now for a very unconventional install using command strips. And I'm going to use this tie wrap to hold up my cable. So let's get this done. It's all running cross. In my particular case I have all those little tie wraps all hanging down that has to be trimmed. And that's pretty simple to do. I'm going to add another one up here to hide that away and I just end it right down here. is it twists this way and this way nicely, but it won't twist backwards or forwards nicely at all. Shine Decor does sell a kit. Put a bend in it and continue your run. So how do we get the Shine Decor app? It's actually on the controller of our device right here. And that's our barcode, so I can scan that with my phone. Just like that. And here is the app, Duo CO Strip. One of the problems I had 
was how do I link up the device? You gotta power it off with the remote and then power it back on and that allowed me to link the device. Now I should hopefully be able to control this. Now when it comes to this app, we can go through whatever colors you want with the color wheel. We can choose the color on the screen and we also have all these different styles. So once I actually stop moving, we can see it. We also have music mode, so if I play some music, but if I turn down the music mode to the point of being off, it's not gonna be heard by the strips anymore at all. See, and now if I turn that back up, and if I wanna to go to mic mode, let's see, oh, there we go. So any voice or sound it hears, our little microphone right there at the bottom. What is shake? We shake the phone to change the colors. The software for controlling these strips works through Bluetooth, so it can work quite a distance away. You might even be able to get to say 15 meters away from the strips, depending on your line of sight and your reception distance with your Bluetooth itself. This is definitely the way to control this device. And so we know this does require line of sight. So if I were to be off camera down here or face the remote here, we can see nothing is happening no matter what button I press until I face it. Now another function that the smoke control does have is it has speed of transitions, it does have brightness setting, and it has a timer. So if you want to turn off after two hours, four hours, or six hours, all up to you. Either way, this is Eric of Sparky Tech. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. The police have found me. They have found my tech review site.